Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So we have a square and inside the square, we have a rectangle, a green shaded rectangle. And now the distance from I to C is the same as C to J. Could you find out the solution to this question? Just pause the video and give it a try. So let's go through this, the solution. So now we can draw a, a line segment from B to the side of one side of the square. Then we can name it N. Now from here, we can say that the angle at this side is what? Beta. And the angle at this side is what? Theta. Now, this side is 90 degrees, which means that automatically this side will also be what? Beta. So when this side is beta, this side will also be what? Alpha. And from here, this side will also be what? Beta, and this side will be what? Theta. Now, we can see that we have similar triangles here. So from, from here, here can be x and this and this from, uh, from c to j to is also x now since the whole length is what 2x then the length of the one side will also be what, 2x because the square have all the sides to be equal now we can represent here by y the same applies to here to be y and here to be what four so using similar triangle Triangle FIC, FIC is similar to what? C and B, C and B, right? So from here, we know that 2X, which is, which is opposite to this angle, we can see that from here to this one is what? Beta, so it will be X. So 2X over divided by X is equal to what? When you look at this side too, this is facing the 90 degrees, so it's Y. And from here too, we know that this side is also facing this angle. So you are going to get four. So from here, X will cancel each other and we are going to get Y to be four, Y to be eight. So now Y is eight and, and this side is also what, four. So the area of the green shaded region is equal to four multiplied by Y. We already know that Y is eight. So four times eight is what? 32, and that is the answer. I hope you got it correct. Thank you for watching. And always you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos.